Magical Power, a feature that was introduced into Skywalk quite a while ago now. Although especially for newer players, it can be a little bit confusing. People ask questions like, why is my magical power so low? How do I increase my magical power? And also, what is a power stone? Today I aim to explain how to increase your magical power, and from the magical power that you gain, how to maximise your stats to get stronger in the game whether that's doing more damage or survivability. First of all, if you aren't familiar with magical power whatsoever, it's basically a score, and the more accessories and talismans you have, the better the score is. The higher rarity the talisman is, the more score you get per talisman, which is the sole reason why people should recombobulate the talismans later on into the game. But you might be thinking, well, so what? If I have more magical power, what does that even mean? Well, if you head over to the hub, say if you're facing this way, which you will be at the start of the hub, if you turn right, come down this little alleyway, and speak to Maxwell. Now, Maxwell will offer you various different base power stones that you can use for absolutely free, and each power stone will basically give you different buffs. Now, the higher the magical power, the better the buff is going to be. So, for instance, if I had less magical power, the power stone would then scale down with my magical power which means that the power stone won't be as effective at lower magical power. However, the base power stones that you get here from Maxwell aren't the only power stones you can get. If you head over to the bazaar, come over to the oddities tab, and here we have power stones. Now, here we have many more power stones that you can purchase. Now, in order to unlock the new power stone over at Maxwell, you'll actually have to purchase nine of these power stones, which as you can see, for some of them can be really quite expensive. What you'll need to do is purchase or obtain 9 of the same power stones and take them back over to Maxwell. Once you right click onto the menu you'll then need to go learn power stones and then you can place the 9 power stones in and then learn new power and that's how you unlock it. Another feature is stats tuning. So if you come over to stats tuning you click on it and here you have a multitude of different stats. Basically what this here is is depending on your magical power you'll have a certain amount of points to spend and these points will equate to a certain amount of an extra perk that you can gain. For instance, if I wanted more intelligence, I can right click on intelligence, auto assign points, and that will use up all of my points on intelligence. So as you can see, this gives me a bonus 198 intelligence. I can then remove those points and put them on something else if I click onto clear points, and I can then just choose a different stat. If I want it to be crit damage, I can right click and auto assign. Now, if you were just wanting to put maybe like half on crit chance and half on crit damage, you can manually do it by right clicking and it will then manually put points on for you and you can put them on other stats as well, so that's pretty cool. Now you might ask, well which power stone is best for me? We'll definitely answer that question, but in just a moment. Before I explain, you should subscribe to the channel, become part of the 24%, there's really no reason not to. Also you should join the Discord server, it's linked in the description of every single video. We offer a variety of carries and honestly it's just a nice community to be a part of, so you should join. Anyway, which power stone should you use? Well, to be honest, considering everyone is going to be at different stages in the game and wanting to achieve different things, it's very difficult to say. But what I can do is help you understand which power stone you should use for your situation. Now, depending on what you want out of your power stones, for instance, if you want to deal either bow or melee damage, what you really need to do is basically try to level out your strength and crit damage. You want these to be around about the same value. Now as you can see at the moment my strength is 466, my crit damage is 809, so at the moment it's not maximised at all, although I don't have any gear on, and may not even have the correct power stone on. Now for instance if I go ahead and equip some armour, so now I have a Necron set with Tarantula Helmet, and I'll pick out a Giant Sword, and then we'll just use this Golden Dragon. So now if we see what our stats are like, um, our strength is 1119 and our crit damage is 1080. So there's around about a 40 difference, which is fine to be honest, it's, it's pretty much there. Now at the moment I'm using the Hurtful Power Stone. Um, so the Hurtful Power Stone, uh, uh, my magical power, gives me plus 154 strength and plus 616 crit damage. Now if I was to switch this Hurtful Power Stone over to something like Bloody, which gives me nowhere near as much crit damage, um, but more strength, um, it's actually going to be worse for me as you'll see. So if we switch it over and we now take a look at our stats, our strength is 1,330 and our crit damage is 819. And obviously our goal here is to try and balance them out to be the same, and now there's like a 500 difference, so this is inefficient. So that is why I use Hurtful at my stage, and obviously it depends on the weapon and gear you have, because it just about balances my well crit damage and strength. And the only other thing I would mention is the fact that at the moment, with my current setup, um, I only have 42 bonus attack speed, which isn't good. But what I can do is use my tuning points to get my attack speed up. So I've also assigned all of my points to attack speed, which gives me almost a bonus 30 attack speed. 
if we now view our stats, as you can see, that takes us up to 71, which is much better. And the rest of it can be achieved in other ways, um, but it's a nice boost. So basically, what I'm trying to say is if your aim is to deal like melee damage or bow damage, then you ju it's just a case of trial and error. I can't tell you that hurtful is going to be the best for you, because it might not be, but for me it is. Depending on your gear, bloody may make it slightly better, or slightly worse. Realistically, the bloody power stone isn't quite as strong as hurtful, um, but it still actually might end up being better for you. Now, Itchy is also another good one if you're looking for bonus attack speed. Obviously, it gives you a lot of that. There are also other free options as well that can definitely work. For instance, most people who struggle to use the Terminator because of crit chance may use Fortuitous. I definitely do that. You take a massive hit on the damage, um, but you get a lot of crit chance. But realistically, with the power stones you get here and the power stones in the bazaar, you're going to be able to make it work. It may cost you coins, and because some of the power stones in the bazaar are extremely expensive, but you can definitely make it work. Now, say for instance if you're playing mage in dungeons, or whatever it is, you just need intelligence. I currently use the Sighted Power Stone, which is relatively cheap from the bazaar. You need 9 Ender Molecules, and they're about 4k each, so less than 100k. And this gives me a bonus 1155 intelligence and 3 ability damage, which is obviously massive. Now, alternatively, you could buy nine eccentric paintings. Um, these are 21 million coins each, and obviously you need nine. So, give or take, it's around about 200 mil. And for me, I would gain around about 200, maybe 250 intelligence. Now, for me, that just simply isn't worth it, if I'm being completely honest. But if you have coins to spend and you need more intelligence, it, at the same time, is worth it. It's still quite a big upgrade. And then wait, never mind. Let me let me point out. I have 990 magical power. This is at 1,000 magical power, so I would actually get slightly less. And if you're going for something like survivability, it goes without saying you just pick something with the most health and defense. It makes sense. Now, in terms of accessories, as you can see, if, if we scroll through, I actually have. Oh, I'm onto the third page of accessories. So my my accessory bag is actually into the third page. And you might think, well, how do you even get that many accessory bag slots considering when you first start you have hardly any? Well, first of all, it's all about redstone collection. Um, if you get to max redstone collection, your accessory bag will be substantially bigger. As you can see, every few redstone levels you actually get an increase in um, your accessory bag. It's that simple. Put a redstone minion down, put a few down, and that's all you need. If you actually come over to the community shop to Elizabeth, um, you can also get free accessory bag slot upgrades up to 12. So that's pretty cool. And then you can also get extra slots if you come to Jacobus over here. Um, they are quite costly, not going to lie, but you can definitely buy extra slots. Now, when you buy a certain amount of extra slots, you actually get um, a unique accessory that you can only obtain through buying slots from Jacobus. So it may be worth doing anyway if you have spur coins. And as you can see here, Jacobus will give you a breakdown of where you actually get your accessory bag slots from. So as you can see, I got 57 from Redstone, 12 from Elizabeth, and 22 from Jacobus. I wouldn't worry about this NPC. Um, this is if you have any still reforged talismans. Um, if you give them to this NPC here, they'll basically pay you money to take the reforges off them. Because a lot of people lost out on reforges back in the day. And that, in a nutshell, is magical power... Um, accessories to an extent, and basically just how to maximise your damage with your power stones. Or, not just damage, but any stat that you want to increase in that case. But anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.